Hey there, welcome back to yet another episode in the journey of demystifying the patent act. Over the course of this journey, we have crossed over to the application phase for our invention and we are waiting for the patent office to come back with their observations or suggestions with respect to the patentability of our invention. Talking about the observation from the patent office, Indian patent office follows a slight different examination process. Unlike other countries, we follow a deferred examination process. What do we mean by that? To know more about it, in this video, we will go over section 11b of the Patents Act that deals with examination processes and associated timelines. Section 11b states that no application will be taken up for examination unless requested for. So now we know that an examination request has to be filed for the application to be taken up for examination. So what are the timelines for it? Let's go over it. So as per section 11b, an applicant should file request for examination within 48 months from the priority date. This is filed using form 18 under rule 24b. Once the patent office receives the request, it checks whether the application has been published or not. If the publication has happened, then the application is queued up for examination. If the publication has not happened, then unless the application is published, examination will not begin. You know, there is another interesting fact about it. There is somebody else also who can request for examination for your application if you were not to do it. So, a person interested as per 21T can also file a request for examination for your application using the same forms within the same timelines. Now, under such cases, where would the report go? The report of examination? We'll talk about it in the next episode when we go over the examination process at the patent office. So now we know that RFE is must for patent office to take up the examination. What if RFE is not filed? Your application is deemed withdrawn. Therefore, request for examination has to be filed if you want your application to be processed further. At this stage, let's take a look at few special cases to understand the timeline requirement for it. Remember, when a secrecy direction is imposed on an application, the publication is put on hold and all the other processes are also on hold. So, what happens during such cases? As per section 35, when the secrecy provision is finally removed, an applicant can file a request for examination within 48 months from the priority date, or within 48 months from the filing date, or within 6 months from the date when the secrecy provision was removed any of the date which is the later of all is chosen let's go over to section 16 divisional application in such case also 48 months could lapse so where do i when do i file it because we were talking about 48 months from the filing date or 48 months from the priority date so in such case also when all these dates are already lapsed then you can file the request for examination within six months from the filing date of your divisional application. This brings me to uh, another special case, uh, not there on the slide, a patent of addition. Nowhere in the act, as far as my reading goes, they talk about when to file the request for examination for patent of addition. For divisional application, they have specifically uh, noted it down, but for patent of addition, they have not. So, in my view, one option which is there is considering 48 months from the filing date of the patent of addition or you file at the time of filing the patent of addition itself. There is no clarity so it would be better to be safe and file at the time of filing the patent of addition itself. So I know my timelines now. But is there a way to expedite the examination process at the patent office so that I can get the grant at the earliest and can put the patent grant to use? Yes, under 24C, you are provided with an option to opt for an expedited examination process. You have to file the request for examination, the expedited request for examination within 48 months, like the normal ones, from the priority date using Form 18A under Rule 24C. We also know that without publication, no examination starts. So, in case your application is not published, then you need to file a request for early publication also. 
what form do we use for it? Form 9. In the last video, we had talked about it. Isn't it a better option for getting the right at the earliest? So why don't everybody opt for it? Because not everybody is eligible for it. In the Act, a set of eligibility criteria is defined. Here are these. Let's go over it one by one. In case of a PCT application, if you have opted for India as the ISA or examination authority and you have a national phase application in India, then for this national phase application in India, you become eligible for expedited examination because you chose India as the ISA or IPEA. Similarly, if you are categorized as a startup or a small entity, certified startup, certified small entity, then also you can opt for expedited examination. This one happens to be a recent addition where in case of natural persons applying for patent, one of the applicant happens to be a female applicant, then you are eligible for expedited examination. Then any of the government undertaking companies such as department institution or funded institution are also automatically eligible for expedited examination. Another latest addition being uh, if the application or the invention belongs to a special sector, then also you are eligible for expedited examination. Patent Prosecution Highway is a pilot program started by Indian Patent Office. So under this program also you can opt for expedited examination. While you apply for expedited examination choosing one of these eligibility criteria, you have to provide supporting documents so as to prove your eligibility. Fair enough. This brings me to an interesting uh, situation. What if I had already filed for a request for examination, the normal one, 24B, and I got to know about expedited examination only now? Can I convert my normal request to an expedited one? Yes. Patent Office indeed envisioned such a scenario and provided you with an option to convert your normal request into an expedited request. You have to file Form 18A, pay the difference of fee and also request for early publication if your application is not published. In the similar breath, what if I had applied for expedited examination? and my documents didn't support my eligibility criteria. What happens then? Nothing. You are sent back to the normal RFE. So the conversions are possible. In the last slide, we had spoken about uh, patent prosecution highway. Let's spend some time over it. On the concept basis, patent prosecution highway is a program where patent offices are collaborating with each other helping each other with documents, the evaluation documents from one office to another so that a decision can be taken faster about the patentability of an invention. So there is this concept of office of earlier examination and office of later examination. Office of earlier examination can send the documents, the, the prosecution documents to the office of later examination for them to use it and pass the subject matter or take a decision on the subject matter. Indian Patent Office has entered into an agreement with the Japanese Patent Office to run the pilot phase of the Patent Prosecution Highway. Under this program, a limited set of applications are taken, about 100 a year. In that, there is a cap per applicant also, no more than 10 applications per applicant. And the application have to be restricted to a set of technologies, a patent classification. And you can opt for expedited examination under PPH only when examination has already not started with the Indian Patent Office. So what are the documents that you need to submit from Office of Earlier Examination? So of course the standard form, Form 18A and Form 9, along with that examination documents from the Office of Earlier Examination. All the copies of office actions copies of cited references, copies of allowable claim and claim correspondence table. Now what is this claim correspondence table where the claim in your application and the claim allow and the allowable claim in the Japanese application you need to draw a correspondence so that you know that the allowable subject matters are actually corresponding to the claims that we have in the Indian Patent Office claim. 
Another uh, important aspect here is both these applications should be claiming priority from each other. There should be either through conventional route or the PCT route. So this is PPH which is under pilot phase uh, for this year also 2022. Here is the gist of section 11b where you can file request for examination through normal examination route or for expedited examination route. If you don't file a request for examination within 48 months, your application is considered deemed withdrawn. Important aspect, unless publication has happened, your application will not get examined. In the next video, we will continue our journey in the patent office, learning more about the examination process and timelines and the communication that happens between the examiner, controller and the applicant. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, be good and take care.